if you're in your first microeconomics class, I'm a tutor and this is what you actually gotta know about consumer surplus. First, you gotta be able to understand what it means on an individual consumer basis. And then we'll look at the overall consumer surplus triangle to understand what it means on a market scale. And hey, before we get started, if you're kind of screwed for this class and need somebody to walk you through everything, go check out my microeconomics cram kit on my website. I've packed together all 95 core concepts in this class and the practice problems that I'd run through with you if I were your tutor. All right, so let's start here on an individual scale. Imagine that you are this consumer right here. Let's say this is the market for a slice of pizza and your willingness to pay for a slice of pizza is five bucks here. And currently the market price at this equilibrium point is $3. We can visualize your individual consumer surplus right here. It's this height right here and the difference between your willingness to pay and the price that you're actually paying. There's a bunch of other consumers too in the market for slices of pizza occurring all along this demand line. Any consumers that fall in this upper half right here are ones that are gonna end up buying pizza because it's worth it to them. Their willingness to pay is higher than the price that they actually have to pay. And in turn, those consumers will buy a slice of pizza because they're getting surplus from it. And everybody down here is not gonna buy a slice of pizza because their willingness to pay is below our equilibrium point right here. They'd take a loss by buying a slice of pizza, so they're gonna step out of the market. All right, with that considered, I've now gone ahead and erased our point here because I wanna assess the total consumer surplus in this market. Before we do that, it's important to note the maximum willingness to pay in the market. Let's say in this case it's seven bucks. This consumer right here, right at the top, is the person who wants to buy pizza the most. And they're willing to pay seven bucks for a slice of pizza. So with that considered, what we're able to do right here is visualize this triangle right here as the total consumer surplus in the market. This represents all consumers who are buying pizza, and the area is the total difference between all of their willingness to pays and the price that they're actually paying, this $3 of equilibrium price. And if we wanted to calculate the actual dollar amount of consumer surplus, it's just the area of a triangle. One half times base, I forgot to set that here. So let's say that the equilibrium quantity is 20 slices of pizza. So times 20 units times height. So seven minus three is four. And we solve this out. We get a consumer surplus of $40 in this market. All right, if you found this helpful and want me to walk you through the rest of microeconomics too, go check out that microeconomics cram kit. It's got video breakdowns like this, just walking you through every concept in this class. And it's free access. So I'm here if you need me, happy to help you as you go through the rest of your microeconomics class.